Finley, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a nice afternoon here in Finley, Ohio. Anderson and I are hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. The beer we have today is called Diamonds in My Mouth. Paul Wall. Paul Wall, baby, the people's champ. So this is from Spindle Tap Brewery out of Houston, Texas. So in honor, I wore my Houston Oilers Earl Campbell jersey today. Um, and this is a double IPA. Now this is made with Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy hops. And where did you acquire this? Because I don't ever see any Texas beers, my brother. I believe, if I remember correctly, this came from my buddy Ron down in Atlanta. Okay. Um, I don't ever see these. I've never heard of Spindle Tap. I don't see much Texas beers either. No, I think the only <laughs> Texas beers you see is Shiner or something like that. Right. Um, so it's pretty interesting brew to be able to try. Now this is 8% ABV. Couldn't find any info on the IBUs. Um, so, you know, kind of interested to check this out. Artwork on it is pretty sweet. So you see it's obviously like a diamond necklace, but it's the Houston Oilers logo there, the oil derrick. Um, but with a little hop at the end of the tap. So quite interesting. Ready to give this one a shot? Yeah, let's give this one a go. Let's give it a go before all the machines start going here. As he has started up again. Ooh, look at that thing, man. That's got like a New England look, bro. So this is, like I said, 8% ABV. Ratings-wise, this does quite well. Uh, a 4.22 on Untap, 4.36 on Beer Advocate. On Beer Advocate, the overall score is a 95 world class. So uh, thanks for the hookup on this one, man. This is something special to, to find. Thanks for sharing this, Anderson. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. All right. As far as the color... Where did you put your chart? It's back here behind me. SRM chart. You gotta get your for the last video. Order. I forgot it. I'm losing it. Color wise, what do you think? You got the Brew HQ SRM chart. I mean, that's like a one. One? Yeah, I would say maybe one or two. It's very light, um, straw color. Definitely hazy. You can't I mean, see you can't through see this, through man. All. The head looks nice. It's about a, a finger's worth. Nice white frothy head. It looks quite nice. Yeah, I mean, and it's not dissipating at all. I mean, it's no, just kind of hanging out chill. there. As far as, you know, carbonation, you can't really see anything. This thing is hazy and murky, bro. You can't see through that. Let's give it a sniff. I mean, you could smell it immediately when you open the can. Yeah, you know, it's tropical. The, the tropical, tropical hops, and, and it smelled like a... Yeah, this is like a hazy, a hazy New England kind of right, thing going right. to it. So it smells to me maybe like pineapple, those kind of, you know, those tropical flavors. Smells pretty good. Now, you all know I'm not a big it's, IPA fan. Although, over the last few days, we've had a few that I have quite enjoyed. Um, but most of them had really good ratings, so they were well-crafted. Yes, they were. Not just hops down your throat in a funnel. A bunch of differently uh, wild leap beers that were also yeah, from Ron. Yeah. So, thanks, Ron, for the hookup. All right, let's give it a shot. You ready? Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. bro. Medium bodied. I had expected this to be like, a, I don't know why, but I expected this to be more like some of the smoogies, like in the body. Right. And it's really not. It's got a, a nice kind of soft feel to it. Medium bodied, pretty decent. As far as the flavors, there's quite a bit going on. Yeah, I mean, you would think just looking at this would be a very thick, heavy body yeah. beer, and it's not. It's, it's looks are deceiving for that. Yeah. Tastes. You got a couple of things going on. I think up front you get a lot of those um, tropical fruit kind of notes once again. And then it kind of gets a little more bitter as it goes. Um, so I think it's kind of a, maybe a, some citrus notes in there as well. It's pretty nice. Yeah, one, one thing about this beer is uh, being a double IPA, whatever, a lot of people build, that brew these just hop the crap out of them. So just hit you in the mouth with hops. Yeah. And they don't actually try to make it a balanced flavor, taste well. And this is actually well balanced. It really tastes good. And the other thing, I'm not a big fan of the, like, the double, triple IPAs either, mm -hmm. because they tend to have this weird syrupy kind of yeah. flavor and, and mouthfeel almost, and this doesn't have that either. No, this is it's nice, like fresh, like a smooth taste to it. Right. Although right. you do have that nice body, um, and I think you know, I know a lot of people say it's like a soft body, and, and I get it. You know, you can kind of you feel it's got a nice soft, soft feel to it when you drink it. South feel? South feel, not south, soft. And then when you, you pick up the flavors, there's a couple different things going on. Like I said, I think initially you pick up kind of like the tropical notes, then you pick up a little bit of citrus. It's almost like a, I don't know, almost like lemon zest or some kind of, um, something that's a, a slightly acidic, slightly citrusy, but kind of balances out the sweeter bits of this pretty nicely. Right, I and mean, the bitterness isn't overpowering, but you know there is some in there with the hops, and it does have a nice sweet 
Yeah. Sweet, sweet taste mix in there. Yeah, almost like uh, like maybe like pineapple or something like that. Right. Like pineapple type taste, uh, which is like the sweet bit. Then you counter it with the, the hoppiness. I quite dig this. I mean, and again, I'm not a, a, an IPA dude. I usually disavow them and, and run from them. Especially the New Englands and the hazies and the doubles and triples and well, quadruple yeah. IPAs, all that. You know what, man? When we do... When I, when I do have hoppier beers, I tend to prefer the piney taste as opposed to those citrus fruits. I mean, the uh, tropical fruits that, like, a lot of the New England ones are more those kind of flavor profiles. I think I prefer more, like, the piney. Um, the one I'm always thinking of is, uh, I think it was Dogfish Head, the Pennsylvania Tuxedo. Yes. Which is straight like a pine cone, basically. But I do, for some reason, I kind of enjoy that one. It's like licking a pine cone. Yeah, it is. It is. And this isn't. This is kind of the opposite end with the, the tropical as opposed to the piney. Um, but it, I, I quite dig it. I think when the hop finish comes in at the, at the end, too, like, you know it's there, but it's not gross and overpowering. But it's enough to let you know, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I think this is well put together, and I think Spindle Tap Brewing out of Houston did a really good job with this one. So for me, this would be a big thumbs up. I think this is one of those beers that started out life as a double IPA and finished as a double IPA. Yeah. Where as opposed to some other beers, I truly think were supposed to be something else. And then they, they hopped them, they didn't know what to do. Yeah, so they just <laughs> hopped it up to cover up some off flavors, called it a double, a triple, or whatever. Yeah. Where this, I think, was brewed to be a double IPA. This is actually... Much better than I expected it to be, and I would also give it a big thumbs up. Yeah. So all in all, you know, um, diamonds in my mouth, Paul Wall, homage, Spindle Tap Brewing, Houston, Texas. We both enjoyed this beer. Um, thanks again for the hookup. Anderson, thanks for sharing this one with me because he could have just kept it for himself. Absolutely. But didn't bought it down to share because he's my man. So <laughs> I appreciate it, my brother. Um, and you know, speaking of being a Paul Wall kind of beer, mm-hmm. we've had a few beers through the course of this that were, were done for people or in homage to people mm-hmm. and they've been crap like that, that that King's Island beer or whatever and you would think that's one of the worst beers I've ever had that's supposed to be like the blue was it blue ice cream or something right blue and cotton you, candy ice cream that was disgusting and you would think if, if you're going to do that you would make sure it was a delicious good beer and yeah. they've definitely hit the nail on this yeah. one I think Paul Wall would approve too so. absolutely yeah I think I actually saw when we were listening Diamonds in uh, Diamonds in My Mouth is actually a song right and in one part I thought I heard only broke people have time to hate that's what I'll say so if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if you want to hate only broke people have time to hate we gotta keep that <laughs> phrase I, I quite like it if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please hit subscribe and as always got any questions jump in down below have you ever tried diamonds in my mouth um i know it's a texas beer i'm not sure what distribution is i don't imagine too many folks in ohio have this but if you have viewers in other places you know let me know uh, if you've had this what you think of it or what about spindle tap i mean for the first beer we've ever had from them it's a 95 world class i'd love to try some of the other stuff absolutely got going absolutely on. I mean, I know sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle and do one beer good and suck at everything else. But, I mean, if you do something really well, chances are you probably do other beers really well, too. So I'd like to check out some more of these. All right. Hey, until next time, cheers. cheers.